This is the final video in the series of videos on sum and difference of two angles. So we've been through the six relations for sum and difference for obviously two for sine, two for cos, two for tan. The question is, what are they used for? Why do we need them? So obviously they're a bit just like other concepts in maths. There are multiple uh, uses, but I'm going to give a couple of examples to see the relevance. So, on the most basic um, level, we might be looking at finding the exact value of cos 15 degrees. Until now, we didn't have a method of working out the exact value of cos of 15. But we do now because we know that cos of 15 is the same as cos of 60 minus 45. 60 minus 45 gives me 15. And we've just came up with the relationship of cos A minus B equaling cos A. Oops, let's put the angles in. Cos A cos B plus sine a sine b cos of 60 is 1 and 2 cos of 45 is 1 and root 2 sine of 60 is root 3 and 2 sine of 45 is 1 and root 2 so that gives me 1 plus root 3 over 2 root 2. So now I can find the value of cos 15 exactly. Let's look at another example. Example 2. Let's say we want to prove that sine theta plus alpha times sine theta minus alpha equals to sine squared theta minus sine squared alpha. Okay, so for our proof. We start with the left hand side and hopefully we can achieve right hand side. Let's expand the left hand side. So sine theta plus alpha is sine theta cos alpha plus cos alpha uh, cos theta sine alpha and that's being multiplied by sine theta cos alpha minus cos theta sine alpha now, if you have a look at this, this is difference of two squares. So, that would mean this is the same as sine squared theta cos alpha cos squared alpha minus cos squared theta sine squared alpha. Okay, now, this sort of looks like the right-hand side, but we're not quite there. The problem here is that we have cos in our solution and what we want is our final result in just in terms of sine. So hopefully you remember that um, there is a way of converting cos squared to sine squared. So I'm going to change color because I'm going to apply a new concept. Um, if you remember cos squared is the same as 1 minus sine squared. 
So we can replace our cos squared oops, our cos squared with 1 minus sine squared. Then we're going to expand and see if anything cancels. So try to simplify. I'm going to leave the minus there and put brackets. Let's have a look. Now, I have sine squared theta minus sine squared alpha, and I have negative sine squared theta sine squared alpha minus negative sine squared theta sine squared alpha. So the minus and the negative add a, uh, result in a plus, which means the two terms cancel, which leaves me with sine squared theta minus sine squared alpha, which is our right-hand side. So there are two examples of the application of what we've just done. Obviously, there are many more examples and many more situations that it can be applied to. And um, by practicing and answering as many variety of questions as you can, um, you'll get better and it becomes easier to memorize and recall these six